Hey guys, recently I had some problems with my Samsung Series 5 laptop. It did not start within seconds like normal, but got stuck with the welcome screen of Samsung for around 6 minutes doing nothing, which is very frustrating. I looked up the internet and found the forum notebookreview.com where people had the same problem before and found the solution um, to take out the ISSD Express cache chip from the mainboard. My solution first was just to never shut down the computer but to keep it on suspend to RAM because then it still starts within seconds but it needs a lot of electricity if you um, yeah if you don't use it, it it still drains the battery within one day if you keep it on suspend to RAM and if I ride my bike and have the computer switched off for two days it's it's um, gone the battery is it's flat and and the computer switched off and the next start takes six minutes again which is yeah frustrating so I thought I'd give it a go and try to remove this this um, ISSD chip the chip is located on the other side of the mainboard so I had to disassemble half of the computer and yeah you have to keep an eye on this the different screws I made two different um, little bowls one for the all the screws which are for the plastic around the computer and the second bowl for the screws which hold all these um, computer things inside together um, the screws which hold the things inside are all small screws so it's easy if you reassemble the computer use the small screws for everything inside and the bigger screws just for the part where the hard drive is and, and yeah those parts so yeah that's easy and um, yeah if you turn if you take out the main board I didn't want to disconnect the the keyboard from the main board so I I left the cable inside and just turned the the main board around while it's still connected and yeah then then it's basically heating up the top of the the ISSD chip or heating up the whole chip and with a small little screwdriver I tried to remove it from the main board without destroying the main board so yeah I had to take some time very gentle be careful um, there is no guarantee if it if it goes wrong your computer is is bricked it's it's wrecked it's useless so yeah rather spend some extra minutes um, heating up the chip and and don't use strong forces on on small things like that Yeah, finally the chip popped off and that was basically it. That's how the, the place looks like where the chip was before. And I, I checked it and cleaned and, and cleaned a little bit because on the left side where I went in with the screwdriver there were these connection things um, a little bit scratched. So I, I, I looked that there are no... no um, connections between those little dots and they have to be separate so yeah I separated them with the with a little needle and then it's about it's basically about putting everything back together again so I flipped the main board yeah very gentle these cables are not very strong and and yeah hard to replace so don't destroy them and then it's basically yeah we try to remember where all these screws go and the the small screws go inside where everything is holding they they hold together and then I checked that the all these holes where the long screw goes later on that they are free that there is no screw in bef inside so I can't put another one from the top yeah, insert the memory, the hard drive, and then there is the big moment.
push the power button and there we go very fast Samsung logo for less than one second instead of six minutes that's how it should be thanks for watching Yeah, computer is working perfectly again, as it should be. That's the old ISSD Express Cache chip. And just because it's broken, it's no need to replace the whole mainboard.